Kuya Boy. <laughs> um, yun ang una namin gagawin, yung kinikwento niya. Uh, abangan niyo na lang. Kasi we're in the process pa of uh, really uh, hinihimay pa namin kung ano yung pinakamaganda na uh, uh, gawin yung atake dun sa gagawin niyang ano. But he will of course do what he does best. Um, na iba of course na napapanood natin sa digital sa no, social media. Yes. Uh -oh. But that doesn't mean that we do not have something on social media. We will. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's going to be part of what we will offer. Um, may nagpatanong din ma'am. Um, eventually daw po ba ay magkakaroon ng executive position si Kuya Boy? Are <laughs> you sure? Mag-apply ako po. Tanong natin sa boss ko. <laughs> Di pa usasa tayo ng Ian Boy. Kani na, we have better executives like si Oli kasi has projects na talaga talk about it. Meron siyang master classes. Ngayon nag we had an exchange of text messages. At ang sabi ko nga, that one I'm interested in, yung kani master classes, dahil maganda. At sa ka noong I I was talking about how how some master classes started in other institutions. Ano yun eh, yung, you know, there's this book, it's called um, The Last Lecture. Actually, sa Philippine Women's University, I just did, November 26, I delivered, meron din silang series of lectures once a year, which is sponsored by, which is produced by the Alumni Association of the PWU. This year, I was uh, chosen to deliver the lecture. Ang tawag nila lecture. Pero ang pinanggalingan yan, ay isang libro na ang tawag ay The Last Lecture. The last lecture is done in uh, Carnegie Mellon, uh, which is a university famous for rapid science. Every year, ang mga estudyante at ang mga profesor ay nag-e-elect sila, nag choose sila ng uh, isang professor who would deliver the last lecture. Hypothetical yun. Halimbawa, if you were given a chance to do your last lecture, ano ang lecture mo at bakit? That book is about, its author is written by Randy Pausch. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Nung siya'y napili na, that's supposed to be a badge of honor when you're chosen to deliver that lecture. Nung kanyang toka na, when he was supposed to do that lecture, instead of lecturing something that he discovered as a rocket scientist, he lectured on life. He lectured on love. He lectured on what it is to be a parent because the time that he was chosen to do the last lecture, he was dying. Yun yung inspirasyon. And when all we started to talk about it, sabi ko, yung ganda yun, tinan natin kung ano, I'd like to be able to contribute to an engagement like that. That's my answer to that. Doon naman sa unang tanong, Gorgie, alam ko yung tatanong ito kaya maya, pero pupuntahan ko na, ang hirap kasi sagutin, what can you offer that others are not doing? Uh, alam natin lahat yun eh. We want to be able to do, hinahanap mo yung ano bang equity natin dito? Ano bang separator natin dito? Paano ba tayo maiiba? At lagi tayong nangangarap dun eh. Na sana we, we, we will be able to do something that's different. We will. Hindi ako hiwalay doon sa linya niyo. Pero, katulad ng paliwanag ko nga kay Alan kanina, ano bang equity ko uh, na hindi pwedeng mawala doon sa anumang show ang gagawin namin? That show must have an interview. Kailangan may interview. Paano may iba yung interview na yan sa lahat ng mga interviews? Siguro may body of work will be able to show that. Pangalawa yung, hanggang ngayon, 4D, nagbe-brainstorm kami nila, RD, nagbe-brainstorm kami na, ano ba ang mga pwede pa natin magawa? Sabi ko, I'd like to be able to invent interview tools. I'd like to be able to, to uh, discover interview styles. Katulad ng paglalaro ko ng konsepto ng start talk, uh, ng fast talk, brother, uh, how it came about until dumikit sa masang Pilipino, how I came about with the interview tool that I used on start talk, ang mahiwagang salamin. So, yun, doon kami ngayon, kaya sinasabi ni Milibes na, we will be there, but hihimayin muna namin. Hihimayin muna namin. And then, 
alam namin yung gusto naming puntahan at nanggagaling din kami doon sa marami na nating karanasan sa paggawa ng talk show. Kaya ang hirap sabihin, one, two, three. That's where she's coming from. And I am coming from. At sa tingin ko, Kuya Boy, ito yung akin na nagsarabahan. Gusto ka talaga ng GMA na bumalik kasi wala pa nga silang maisip na show kinukuha ka na nila. Maraming salamat. Oh. At meron na rin sweldo. Pumatak <laughs> <laughs> na. <laughs> Hindi. Ito na ngayon nga ako, Kuya Boy. I-diretso ko na din, ko na din yung tanong. Um, sa'yo po, saan kayo mas nahirapan? Negotiation sa GMA o yung pagpapaalam sa kapila? Pareho. Pareho. Hindi, hindi dahil sa yung negosasyon namin sa GMA 7 was was difficult in abutan kami ng COVID kasi just to be very clear we started talking pre-COVID pa to matagal can I say that? I mean, yun naman ang totoo talaga oo pero ang usapan namin noon was kumustahan uh, uh, libre ka na ba uh, and then we would forget about it and then we would just joke about it and then we would have pakiramdaman muna pakiramdaman at saka magalang Oh, yun yung difficulty doon nangyari ang COVID. Goodbyes are hard for me in any language. Saying goodbye, lalo na sa personalidad na katulad ng nating marami, uh, ayaw natin makasakit. Pero ako, nakipag-usap ako ng mahusay, nagpaalam ako ng mahusay, at nagbabalit ako ng mahusay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sir Gorgi. And wow, okay, so a lot of insightful questions. And of course, I just have to say from every media call that I've hosted, and dami talagang insightful answers ni Dito Boy. And I'm sure that a lot of people are excited to see the stories that you guys will writing about this media con. And with that, we end this evening. Marami bang opportunities pa ni Gorado? Kung saan? Ay, may matatalong pa. Go pa. Ay, okay. Sorry. Off the list. Okay. <laughs> we would love to hear more. Okay, who will be asking? Hindi, naalala ko lang po yung boy. Kasi the last time na interview ka namin, ni Rayleigh, uh, last episode ng Star Talk, nag-iiyak kami no, nag-iyakan tayong lahat, <laughs> ba? Na siguro na sa isip ni Rayleigh, wala siguro sa isip niya na mag-iipi siya ulit sa'yo. <laughs> Totoo! <laughs> Totoo! Yes! Yun po. Sir Cherry na po. Alright! Kuya Boy, Cherry. Simple lang yung pigwesyo ko una sana. Kumusta ka? Kaya lang, ang daming halo-halo yung po pang umumusta na yun eh. Kumusta yung kita naman, masaya, kamite. Kumusta may mga perlas kang ganyan para sa health. Uh, Siyempre, exciting para sa challenges. May agam-agam, mabuhin ito. Pero meron din pang malungkot na pangyayari ngayon sa buhay mo. Kumusta ka? Paano mo sasabihin ito? Okay na hindi okay. So, so ko yung... Uh, Ako may kasalanan. Celebrities na kapuso na gusto mong isa. Sinabi ko sa kanila, when we were talking uh, about promo, si Janine, sila ba, pwede ba yung family feud? Huwag na muna. Baka <laughs> lumabas yung pagkatanap ko. <laughs> I did that, yung pagkatanap. Kasi depende, di ba, kung anong sinasurvey. Pag tinanong mo ko, limbawa, uh, yung mga anime, ano ba naman ang alam ko doon? Tinanong mo ko ng mobile legend, ano ba naman ang alam ko? At saka yung mga delikado yung, ano ang bahagi ng katawan? ang nagsisimula ng letra ng T. Ano yun naman ako sa akin? Pero yun, kung sasabihin ko rin. Pero yung sagot naman, di ba? T-T-D. Ano, sorry. Tinit na lang po lang. So, yun yung mga, ang dami kong takot doon. Ang dami, pero, gagawin ko yun. Oo, para ba lang pasan. Gagawin ko yun talaga. Sino pa? I'd love to do Marian. I'd love to do Marian. It can be fun. I'd love to do Hyde, the family is that. Ah, uh, it's just an old friend of mine. I mean, she, we're friends. One more people, boy. Ah, but, ah... Uh, I'd like to know, Limay. I'd like to know. May and I, because we know each other. We've worked in a commercial together. So, ah... Uh, oh, pero hindi naman ako mapili. I'm sure si Ai-Ai, pag dumating, sasabihin, Ai! Sali ako! Um, it's an exciting world. I don't know. 
Pero takot na takot na sa family feud. Takot na takot na takot na choice. I specifically said, pag mag-line up kayo ng testings, pwede bang ihunin nyo muna o wala na lang muna. Exciting. Nakatarat tayo. Thank you, Tito. Salamat, Erwin.